Hey guys, it's Ozzy Safa here at Your Sim, and today we're going to be showing you how to install and use Navigraph SimLink in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. It's pretty simple. You go to navigraph.com forward slash downloads. You download the Navigraph Hub. So download it here for Windows. Once you've got it installed and running, it's pretty simple. Okay, once you have Navigraph Hub opened, you have two options, MSFS 2020. As you see, we have SimBrief Dispatch installed here. We want to click on MSFS 2024, and we install the modules that we like. So we want to have SimBrief EFB app beta, we'll install that. And then we want to have Navigraph EFB charts app, we'll, we'll install that as well, and the in-game panel. The main one is the bottom one, the SimBrief EFB app, but I, I, I want to put all the others in there as well, just to have it like previous Sim. So we'll start Microsoft Flight Simulator and I'll meet you there. So we're in the sim, we've got our aircraft um, departing from Luton. We can click the EFB tab here and we should see an option when we go to more apps for sim brief dispatch. Here we go. And from here, oh, obviously we have to sign in. Bear with me, I'll do it really quick. Right, so now we go to new. Just like we would on a sim brief website, we've got it all loaded on our EFB here. I'll just type in my, my usual info. info. And I, and we're going to depart from Luton, EGGW, and we're going to arrive in Amsterdam, Eham. I'll get everything else left to auto. I'll put the airframe up actually because we want to tell them we've got the 320 by any builds, which is the V2 version, is any build. Here we go, look, Airbus 320 V2. I'll let everything else set up for default and we have to click generate. There should be a gen, oh, right up here. Right, generating and building. Say we want to depart from runway 25. It says we want to do the Matt Charlie free Yankee departure and then the red far one arrival. So we don't have to copy this, but I'll do it just in case. And if we want to pre-file this onto VATSIM, all we have to do is click pre-file up here. Um, it should open a VATSIM website. It's the only time it's going to open up a separate browser, right? So this is how you would do it quickly. Everything's here with our file flight plan and it will say flight plan filed. Okay, so we can close that. Now I can click import route at the top and into the sim itself, it will create the route in the sim. So if I exit this, this is exactly what SimBrief had loaded for us, right? And that's pretty useful. Um, is there a way to import into the MCDU? We have to do that inside the plane, but that, that can be done. All right, it shows you our weather here. Shows our weather charts. We want to click okay area uh, Europe there we go view chart it even shows you our winds and weather on route which is pretty damn good right so we can always see our charts also I normally use a separate iPad and link it through there but we can do it on board now in VR we click Navigraph charts if we want to have a look at the charts and we don't want to keep looking at our iPad in real life and I'll press import flight from SimBrief that we just filed earlier. Download it and it should create our route. Here we go, look at that. Exactly what we imported to the Sim, we can see here in IFR chart, that, that is fantastic. This is a really useful tool. All right, and we've got our departure chart here. Let's see if we can hide this. So we've got our departure chart, we can zoom in and out. Oh, this is great, this is fantastic. We got our arrival chart. And we even have our airport chart that we can taxi with. Wow. All right, enough of that. I'm going to just start the flight, load us in the sim and show you what it looks like. I'll skip forward to it. Okay, so we are loaded in our aircraft. We'll go to the toolbar at the top. If we want to have our Navigraph charts, we click this Navigraph charts open. It will show us in a pop-out window here and we can load a flight plan as detected, right? But we want to see this in the EFB, for example, if we're in VR, because we don't want to have this pop-out be quite distracting. To get our EFB open, we come over to the left of the toolbar and click the EFB. We can just drag this around where we want to, wherever it's convenient. So it can show our location here, where we are on the runway. We have to have um, Navigraph SimLink also installed for this to happen. And 
It's imported, has it imported our route? Yep, it's imported our route automatically. This is perfect. Now, if you want to follow the correct departure procedure, we can have this, so we know we have to fly ahead in 254 for takeoff, and then once we get to the next waypoint, we go to 211, maximum 220 knots, in between 4,000 and 3,000 feet. So there we are. We can fly this one manually and then enable autopilot once we get here. We can choose to do so however we wish. And all our information is here, so our transition altitude is 6,000 feet. That's where we're going to change our QNH to standard. Okay. Now, if we don't want to have this up, because we're in the Airbus and we already have an EFB here, I'd like to see them integrate this EF, the Sobo EFB into the primary EFB in the aircraft as an option. So if we go to options, it would be nice to have enable a Sobo EFB and then tick that. But I'm sure that will come in the future because I know the developers have to um, get that um, enabled before we, if they can implement it. So what I want to do here is load our Simbri flight plan over here. Then we go to payload and import all the fuel information from Simbrief. I like to add a little bit more fuel because Simbrief always underestimates how much we need. Then I'll click apply load. I'll do it instantly. We should get a master caution saying the, um, the, the CG is changed because we have added more fuel. So we'll go click, 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 go to fuel. Once we've clicked fuel, we'll just refresh this. There we go. And now that error should have gone. Now we'll go back to the EFB. We will go to takeoff. We'll press sync here. That's pretty much near enough. We'll press calculate. We'll send to FMGC. It says our takeoff trim 0 0.6 up. All our V speeds are here. And to get this here, because we've sent it here, we'll go to performance. Instead of manually entering all the V1, VR, V2 information here, we just press confirm data and in the inner build aircraft, okay? And it's done it all for us. So we've got flaps one, 0 0.6 up. We have to set the trim to zero, that's 0 0.5, and this about 0 0.6. Okay, and then we'll press our auto brake, auto brake max. Spoilers will arm it, I don't know why they're on full. Armed, flaps one. And then we click take off. Now ECAM MO, no blue, ready to take off. And then one more thing when we want to get our flight plan into the MCDU. I've got another tutorial on this, but I'll do it with you anyway. In it, request, and then everything's up here. And then we can put our departure information. What was it? Map 3 Charlie. Okay, there you go, guys. And that's how. And that's pretty much the end of the video. If you want to watch any of my other VATSIM or Airbus any builds tutorials, like and subscribe. I've got a playlist going that I'm still finishing, but you can still carry on watching what I've, I've done so far. And if you want to see my um, hardware review, well, my first look of the EFIS and MCDU by Mini Cockpit, have a look at that. You get a 10% saving discount in the description below. And I'll be doing a live stream showing off this um, Mini EFIS and MCDU. So please like and subscribe. That's it from me. See ya.